Hello and welcome to ResearchPod. Thank you for listening and joining us today. In this podcast, we're exploring the research of Dr. Birgit Wilding, Dr. Ralph Neumüller, Dr. Flavio Solka, and colleagues at the Bollringer Ingelheim Regional Center, Vienna. In recent preclinical studies, they have developed drugs that inhibit the abnormal human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, HER2 signaling, that leads to tumor growth in a subset of human cancers. Their in vitro and in vivo experiments demonstrate that the compounds decrease both tumor cell proliferation and survival. HER2 is implicated in a variety of human malignancies and is the driving oncogene, a gene which can cause a normal cell to transform into a tumor cell in a small proportion of patients with non-small cell lung cancer, where HER2 is mutated and driving tumor activity. Despite HER2 being a focus of therapeutic development, current therapies have adverse effects or are ineffective in shrinking tumors, especially in cases of non-small cell lung cancer driven by HER2 aberrations. The research team's innovative study discovered a number of HER2 inhibitor compounds that are effective against tumors and also reduce side effects. One of the new inhibitors is now undergoing testing in a phase one clinical trial to assess safety and efficacy in patients. ERBB receptor tyrosine kinases are proteins essential for normal development and physiological function. The ERBB family of proteins consists of four members, namely epidermal growth factor receptor or EGFR, HER2, HER3 and HER4 that form subunit couples upon binding to extracellular signaling molecules to fulfill their functions. These receptors activate the mitogen-activated protein kinase and phosphoinestadide 3 kinase pathways. These two signaling pathways transmit signals from the plasma membrane of the cell into the nucleus, triggering critical cellular activities such as cell proliferation, apoptosis, survival, migration and differentiation. Aberrant signaling can cause abnormal cell signaling leading to cancer and neurological disorders. Considering the array of pathological conditions ERBB receptors are linked to, Scientists have been working tirelessly to develop inhibitors against associated mutations in cancer. Lung cancer causes more deaths than any other type of cancer and is divided into small cell lung cancer and non-small cell lung cancer. Non-small cell lung cancer accounts for most cases and has different genetic and biological root causes. In 2-3% to of non-small cell lung cancer cases, HER2 is mutated and is responsible for tumor initiation and growth. Of these HER2 mutations, a large proportion of them are a type of mutation known as exon 20 insertions, which are hardest to treat. Unfortunately, no targeted therapy is yet available to treat these mutations. Collectively, oncogenic HER2 aberrations cause increased HER2 signaling and enhanced kinase activity resulting in uncontrolled proliferation of cells and blocking of programmed cell death. This initiates neoplastic transformation, which is when normal cells become cancerous, thus leading to tumor formation. Continued abnormal HER2 signaling helps sustain the tumor, so the cancer persists. In non-small cell lung cancer, the most common exon 20 mutation causes duplication of the amino acids Y, V, M and A. Therefore, a primary aim is to develop inhibitors against this specific mutation. Categories of current HER2 therapies include antibodies against HER2, HER2 antibody drug conjugates, and molecules targeting the kinase function of HER2. However, despite recent advances, a problem still exists in that HER2 exon insertion mutations are particularly difficult to develop drugs against. Such drugs need to be efficacious in targeting the hard-to-hit exon 20 insertion mutations while remaining selective and specific only to HER2. The drugs must also spare EGFR wild-type, 
a protein of the similar protein family, as the lack of this selectivity results in unwanted dose-limiting toxicity. This is where the dose of the drug required for efficacy cannot be achieved because of associated toxic effects. Unfortunately, several drugs in clinical trials have been associated with side effects related to these toxicities. In addition to inadequate selectivity and subsequent toxicity, current tyrosine kinase inhibitor treatments lack potency against HER2 exon 20 mutations. In patients with HER2 mutant non-small cell lung cancer, standard treatments of chemotherapy and immunotherapy do not show sufficient clinical activity and tumors are not adequately shrunk. Therefore, there is an unmet treatment need for non-small cell lung cancer patients and other malignancies where HER2 exon mutant genes are the cause. To address this medical need, Dr. Birgit Wilding, Dr. Ralph Neumüller, Dr. Flavio Solka and fellow researchers conducted a range of complex experiments using HER2 lung cancer models. They synthesized, optimized, and tested a number of compounds to find the most selective and effective drug against mutant exon 20 alleles that also overcome the toxicity issues of previous drugs targeting the kinase function of HER2. Their groundbreaking research, published in the journal Nature Cancer, has led to the development of inhibitors specific for and potent against HER2 exon 20 mutant alleles while crucially sparing wild-type, e.g. FR. In preclinical studies, the compounds exhibit efficacy against HER2 exon 20. Specifically, the YVMA version blocks tumor progression, while showing excellent selectivity over other kinases. Pharmacokinetics data confirm the suitability of the compounds to be used in vivo. Of interest, the study demonstrates that targeting the YVMA form and not the EGR wild type has the most effect in shrinking the tumor, suggesting the role of EGFR in abnormal HER2 signaling is insignificant. The team are thus hopeful that HER2 inhibitor drugs could be administered at sufficient dosages with few side effects. However, this does need to be tested and a phase one clinical trial using such inhibitors is doing just that. Mechanistically, HER2 YVMA mutation causes the mitogen activated protein kinase pathway to be more active, contributing to tumor formation. The protein SOS1 is part of this pathway. Another significant finding of the study showed that a combination treatment of an HER2 inhibitor and an SOS1 inhibitor resulted in enhanced inhibition of abnormal signaling. The team say this finding and other signaling pathways are of interest and should be further investigated to identify clinically feasible combination strategies that can work together to inhibit abnormal signaling. From this research, a clinical candidate compound that inhibits mutated HER2 receptors has been developed by Böhringer Ingelheim. The compound is undergoing testing in a clinical trial of patients with metastatic solid tumors whose previous treatments have been unsuccessful. This ongoing phase one trial is divided into two parts, how well the drug is tolerated and its pharmacokinetic properties, while the second part evaluates efficacy of the drug in patients with non-small cell lung cancer driven by HER2 aberrations. The trials are still ongoing, but the researchers report encouraging preliminary results in both safety, tolerability, and efficacy. The discovery of tyrosine kinase inhibitors that target HER2 exon 20 mutant alleles but spare the non-mutated FGFR wild type launches a new era of potential treatment options for HER2 driven cancers. Non-small cell lung cancer patients with HER2 driven disease have limited or no current effective treatment options and represent a significant unmet need. It is hoped such patients may benefit from these inhibitors pending clinical trial investigation. The team's comprehensive research is a true example of bench to bedside or translational research where laboratory discoveries are taken forward to be tested in the real world to help patients. 
Thanks for listening and stay subscribed to ResearchPod for more of the latest science. See you again soon.